Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are on to part two of our little duckling and we're just going to start on the body, maybe come down the body, the neck and just see how far we get in an hour. Everything that you need for this tutorial is listed in the description box below and yeah let's just get started. So I'm just going to lift some of this graphite at the back of this head here and I'm going to take my ivory as our base layer. And I'm just going to come in and build up. This base layer at the back of the head. Okay, so I'm going to start with my brown ochre very lightly. I'm just going to start to build up some of these little fluffy hairs. Again, constantly just looking at the direction that all this fluff is going in. And then I'm going to take my bister. Coming over the top now. Okay, um, and I'm going to take my Kaput Morton. Around here as well. Okay, and then I'm going to take my burnt ochre, harder pressure, just to try and smooth and blend these areas. Actually, I think the nugget will work quite well. Let's get the nugget. So, I've got the nugget now, and I'm just going to come in. Okay, and then the ivory over the top. Okay, I'm just going to get my slice tool. And I'm just going to bring in some little white stray hairs. You can see I've not erased the graphite line very well here. So it's showing through on my piece. So I'm just going to try and break it up a little bit by bringing in the slice tool. And then I'll go back to the vista and I'll come in. Just build up some little depth. And here. Okay, put Martin. Okay, and then my beige red just over the top here. Okay, back to the um, putty eraser, again lifting graphite, I'm making sure I'm really lifting that graphite, don't want that pencil line to show through. And then ivory is the base layer, and I can see I've got a bit of graphite there so I'm just going to come in, erase that graphite, sorry excuse me. Raise that graphite and then I can come round with the ivory and I know that there's no graphite line there now. So I'm just going to bring, I'm doing the same, just erasing any graphite lines because I don't want them, don't want them showing. Uh, 
and I'm just applying the base layer of the ivory. So I can start building up this little section. So I'm going to take my, um, what colour are we going to go for? We're going to go for the beige red. We'll stick to the beige red. Along this edge. All the way down this little wing and I'm going to get my one grey one and go over the top of that beige red I'm just going to come in with my light yellow ochre. We've got a bit of a yellow tone. So I'm going to use the light yellow ochre here just along the edge, blending into that beige red. Okay, and then my vista. Building up here now with the vista. Okay, so I'm doing this with vista all across. This little bit that I've already got the base layer on, blend that upwards. Get that light yellow ochre again. I'm just going to blend up and outwards on the beige red. So okay, that's looking better. So I'm going to come in with my uh, Caput Mortem first and I'm just going to start to do little V-shapes where we've got some big clumps of fur or fluff <laughs> and I'm just going to start to build up this nice purpley brown colour kind of along this edge Maya than anything And then the vista. Um, and then I'm going to get my green gold. Just a little bit. Over here as well. The uh, burnt umber, and again, I'm just creating little V shapes to create these little clumps of fluff. And then the nugget. Just over the top here. The beige red. And the one grey one. Once again, and the one grey one, I'm just going to kind of circular motions just to blend this edge, smooth it out. And then over these brown tones that we've got going on. And nugget again. Okay, back to the um, good eraser and again I'm just going to lift the graphite there and then ivory is the base layer. And I'm 
just going to, once again, that little corner. And the ivory right up to there. That's the base layer. Okay. I'm going to get my uh, green gold as like another base layer. Nugget. Now I'm probably going to come in with the slice tool once I've built up a lot of these layers. Just to create some little fine white hair detailing, but you probably won't need to do it if you don't have the slice tool. It's definitely a tool I use a lot within my work. Really helpful. Okay, I'm just going to get my burnt ochre. There's a bit of an orange tone on the edge here. And then back to the nugget. Okay, and then the vista. Okay, so need our burnt sienna now. Some burnt sienna just along this bottom edge here. And then some of kaput mortem. And then I'm going to go back to my, uh, no, I'm going to turn my burnt umber. I'm just going to start to bring in those little V shapes again to create some darker details. It's a nice and sharp pencil using the sharper edge to do this. And you want to leave little gaps between each bit that you're doing. So those colours that we've already laid down shine through. Okay, and then my Vista again. And my Nugget. Just want to blend out a little bit more there. Okay. Just going to get my walnut brown, just going to bring a bit more depth. So again, just little V shapes, building up a bit of depth in this area. Okay, oh, I'm happy with that. So um, I'm just going to take the kaput mortem again, just blending out here. And the beige red. Again, just blending there. Right, um, I'm just going to take my burnt umber. Bring that up and under here. Take my one grey one. Just knock back that colour a little bit. Right. Getting 
get in there now. Uh, Potty eraser time again. <laughs> On this wing. Back to the ivory as a base layer. Right. Take the um, cinnamon this time. Be a little bit darker. Still a bit of a highlight, but it is darker than the beige red. Just curving that around this little bit of wing. And then I'm going to take my uh, brown ochre first and apply that on the bottom half of the wing. Burnt ochre. And then my sister. And then I'm going to take my warm grey two over the top and that's going to blend, make it a little softer with the details because it is kind of out of focus in that area. Um, I'm just going to get my cut mortem as well. Right over here. And then back over with a um, warm grey too. Okay. Right, I'm going to lift the um, graphite again. And then ivory as the base layer. Um, and I'm just going to do this little section first because this area is lighter in colour than the rest of the areas. Okay, so I'm going in first of all with the burnt ochre along these edges. And along these edges here. Again, I'm following the direction that this fluff is going in. Okay, I'm very lightly going to take the light yellow ochre, you want to do it very lightly, just glazing, so very light pressure over that ivory. So your pencil is just touching, you're just getting a hint of that colour on the page. And then I'm going to come in again with the burnt ochre, a bit harder pressure there, right over the top of the light yellow ochre. And the ivory and you can see I've used harder pressure at the edges so that it's more apparent that we've used the burnt ochre and just lighter in the middle. I'm going to get my green gold on those edges as well just to really add to the vibrancy. And then I'm going to take my one grey too just to add in here. Okay, back to my, um, actually I'm going to take the uh, sanguine just to bring in those orangey tones along this edge a little bit more and then the burnt ochre. Okay. So ivory as the base layer, just remove that bit of graphite.
Okay, I'm just kind of doing it strip by strip so I know what area I'm working on. Makes it easier to work section by section. Um, and then I'm going to come in with my bista. First of all, blend over that. And I'm going to apply this across this whole base layer of the ivory. Okay, and then the nugget. And then I'm going to take the cut mortar and apply it again across this whole area. Blend into those areas that are already there. Okay, and then the uh, burnt umber, and again, just do those little V shapes and create little, those little areas in between, creating some depth. So these are like your little clumps of fur that you're drawing in. You're just creating that depth. Um, and then I'm going to take the burnt sienna. So I'm just building up all the different colours in this fur, adding to the depth of this fluff. That's the kaput martyr. Especially along this part of the head. And then I'm going to take my one grey two. Over the top and that's just going to help blend and smooth out this area quite nicely. Okay, I'm going to get my uh, walnut brown. And I'm just going to really build up some depth. Where I can see the shadows along here. My Kaput Mortem again. So just a little back and forth, building up that colour, especially along that back of the neck here. Okay, so back to the um, ivory and we've got a nice area here that we can work on. So I'm just going to come in with this base layer of the ivory. I do need to remove this graphite and I'm going to do that in a minute. Just going to bring this in. So, okay, and then 
going to lift this graphite. And work on this section of our little duckling. So I'm going to go in first of all with the uh, burnt ochre. Again, blending into that area that we've already got drawn in. Just going to bring it along here as well. Then the green gold. So now taking the vista Again, concentrating on the direction of the fluff. And then the burnt sienna. You can see just how many layers I'm adding to this duckling. Even though it's still quite a teeny piece, I just can't help myself. <laughs> Just going to take the nugget, bring it right up here as well. Start to blend into that lighter area. Back to the burnt sienna. Okay, and then I'm just going to take my walnut brown because it's nice and dark in this curvature of the neck. Just create that nice dark shadow. Burnt sienna. Okay, and then I'm going to go over all of that with the cinnamon, blend into that lighter area here. And then the warm grey too again.
I think as well, I'm just going to get my green gold a bit more of this coming in this bottom corner. Okay, just taking my burnt umber, a little bit of depth in here. Okay, so if I have enough layers, I should be able to take my slice tool and just create some little wispy white hairs. And this is just going to add to the fluff effect. And just create some looser highlighted areas. Okay, so you should be able to see there those wispy lines. Okay, and then I can come in again with a kaput mortem and just darken in between some of those wispy lines if I need to. Hey, I'm really happy with that little duckling. Look at him, he's quite cute. <laughs> just taking my nugget again. Just want to darken here a little bit. Okay, right. I'm going to lift the graphite here and go in with the ivory. Very light layer. Again, very light pressure of the light yellow ochre. So very, just barely touching the paper. You want it to just leave a hint of this colour. And then the burnt ochre. And then the warm grey too on top of that. Okay, I'm just going to take my white, just going to really push that pigment in and just lie it on this area up. Okay, and then my Vista. Just making sure that this blends quite nicely into that lighter area. Right, okay, so back to the ivory as the base layer underneath our little duckling's head. Right, so I'm going to start off with the cinnamon. And again, constantly looking at what direction this fluff is going in. And then the light yellow ochre over the top of that cinnamon here. And then I'm going to take the brown ochre as almost like another base layer where we've applied that ivory. Ok, 
Okay, so you can just see I've just applied that in the direction as well that the um, fluff is going in. And then I'm going to take the, uh, first of all, I'm going to take the, uh, the burnt sienna, where we've got this nice reddish tone. Coming under this neck. Um, and then the sanguine it's really going to make this orangey tones pop so okay I'm just going to take the bista no I'm going to take the terracotta just want to add a bit of colour into this cheek a little bit more Blend it outwards. That's better. Just looking a little bit flat. Okay. I'm going to take this terracotta as well underneath here. Just build up colours and then we want our walnut brown to really deepen that shadow and downwards and underneath yeah. and then the burnt umber I'm just gonna Brown ochre. And then the nugget as we're coming down this neck. Okay, taking my burnt sienna again. It's just about blending till you get to a point that you're really happy with. Like so. Just going to take my green gold up here a bit more and then go over the top of that with the sanguine. Again, I'm just adding a bit more depth into the duckling's face. Um, and we've got a bit of a colour down here, so I'm just going to take my uh, dark red. I'm not going to press too hard. I'm just going to come in under here, kind of curving it round. And up. And then bring it down in here as well. Like so, my cinnamon, and then the one grey too. Just about adding a little bit more depth into our little duckling's face, the sanguine. Okay, that looks better. Uh, just the beige red in that little corner here as well. Okay. Taking the ivory again. So our base layer just coming down this side of the neck. And then I'm going to take my uh, brown ochre first.
Again, I'm constantly checking the direction of the fluff just to get a bit of cinnamon in this area here. Okay, and then just keep coming with the brown ochre. It's curving around this body. Okay, and then I'm going to get the burnt ochre and go over that. And then the nugget creating those dark little bits of hairs. Um, and then I'm going back to my brown ochre. Just to darken these edges up a little bit. My beige red. Over that nugget as well, just to really soften it out a little bit more. Like so. Okay, just going to get my putty eraser. And lift there. My ivory. starting to come across here where it's a little bit darker so we may end up just finishing kind of building this tonal colours up but we will see so you can see I've not lifted the graphite very well there but that's fine I will make sure I go over that with a darker colour so I'm going to come across all of this first of all with the brown ochre And again, I'm just following the way that this fur is lying on the page. You can see as soon as I come in with that brown ochre, those graphite lines are hidden anyway. Okay, and then I'm going to go over all of this with a nugget. I'm not pressing hard, just light pressure, and I'm leaving gaps in between these pencil strokes. So that that brown ochre tone shows through these layers. Um, and then I'm going to take the Vista and just do the same. So I've just kind of built up a lot of mid-tones in this area. So I'm going to start off with this dark red. Because we've already brought it in under this um, neck and I'm just going to start to bring it down this side. We've got a nice shadow going on. Hang on, what is that? Getting little bits of pencil on there, okay. And just blend it outwards under here a little bit more as well. Ok, 
Okay. Um, and then I'm going to take the kaput mortem over the top and again just going to blend outwards. And then back to that brown ochre. And then I'm going to take my burnt umber. I'm going to get a really sharp pencil now because we're going to start bringing in the clumps of shadows. Okay, so I've got my burnt umber and I'm just going to start to bring in those darker shapes. Which is just creating those little shadows and blend it outwards. This is just going to show that there's clumps in this fur. Creating these little shadows. My little duckling. Especially across this neck. Right, back to the bista. And a bit of burnt sienna. I'm going to take my brown ochre again. Dark red once more. And I'm taking that dark red over those shadows as well. Right, and then my burnt ochre. And then the one grey two just over the top of all of this. Okay, let's do the side here. So I'm going to go in with um, one grey one first. We've got like a really wh whitish area. So lift that graphite. And I'm actually just going to do this base layer as the warm grey one. Okay, and then on top of that I'm going to take the beige red. right up to the edge of that beak remember we don't want a white halo and then I'm going to take my brown ochre I'm just going to create some of those longer wispy hairs coming in between this little bit of fluff And 
and then I'm going to take my burnt ochre and go over that with the, the brown ochre with the burnt ochre. Back to the beige red to blend. And that's going to give you that nice muted tone that we can see. And then getting the uh, green gold. And then the burnt sienna because we've got a nice red tone coming up by that beak. Okay, and then the light yellow ochre, because we've got a bit of that cheek shining through here. And then the burnt sienna. And the burnt ochre. And back to that burnt sienna. Just to sort of deepen that colour there and the dark red as well. Nice vibrant tone there now. Beige red again. I'm just taking that beige red across all of this area. And that warm grey worn. And then I'm going to just take my slice tool just add some little stray white, whiter areas of fluff and then my taking my burnt sienna again oops sorry and I'm just going to come in in between those slice marks And we've got my um, cinnamon just in between here, like so. Okay, so I'm just going to bring this side a little bit further down by that beak. So I just lift that I um, graphite, and then the ivory is the base layer. My green gold. Um, and then I'm going to take the Vista as well. And then blend all that together with the beige red. The dark red, just to bring that down and look blended. There. Okay, back to my ivory, just here. Just getting this to a point where I'm happy to leave our little duckling. Before um, we move on to the next part. So... Uh, burnt sienna and blend here and then I'm going to bring that down here and the dark red and then my uh, 
beige red just along here. It's going to start getting a little lighter. So get those pink tones showing through. And then the Bista. dark red just to blend where we've started adding it back to the burnt sienna and then the brown ochre and then I'm just taking that beast one more time over the top And the burnt ochre. Okay, and I think I'm going to leave my duckling here. Um, and then the next part will be about finishing his body and his feet. So I've just zoomed out a little bit so you can see where we are with him. Um, but yeah, he's coming on quite nicely. So I hope you've enjoyed this part of the tutorial. Any questions, as usual, let me know. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye, everybody.